What's going on everyone and welcome to Movie Important's movie review of Freaky, the newest film from director Christopher Landon and it's produced by Jason Blum. Uh, before we begin, hey, if you like my channel, awesome, hit the subscribe button and join Movie Important, hit that notification bell top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome, hit that like button and comment below on any video that you watch, including this one. So Freaky is the story of Millie Kessler, who of course is played by Catherine Newton, and Millie is your atypical high school student, not very popular, has a couple friends, does, you know, extracurricular activities, but because of her father's death, which is a very big trope in these types of horror films, uh, she just is very lost in her kind of way and so on and so forth, and it kind of shows through, you know, how she dresses, how she acts, and just kind of the despondent nature of who she is. And in the process, we have a character named the Blissfield Butcher, who of course is played by Vince Vaughn, and he is a serial killer. He is a very much a Michael Myers, very strong, takes down teens, and so on and so forth. It's a very typical thing about these types of horror films as well. And in the process, one night after a sporting event, and we have Millie, who is the actual mascot, uh, she is attacked by the Blissfield Butcher, which is the setup of this story, which is going to be a body swapping story. And he ends up stabbing her with this knife, which becomes a MacGuffin throughout the movie. And and in the process, at midnight, they switch bodies. So we have Millie Kessler in the Butcher's character, and we have the Butcher in the Millie Kessler character. And it turns into a very interesting kind of fun take on the body swapping story where the Millie Kessler character is now a villain, and she is murdering students in the high school. And then we have the Butcher character, who is... Uh, Interesting when it turns into Millie because of how you know he acts because it's Vince Vaughn how he you know runs around kind of effeminate and stuff like that. It's a very funny scenario, so it's a very cleverly done kind of interesting way to put a body swapping story into a new type of scenario. And so with all that said and done with the story out of the way, uh, as you can tell, I really enjoyed this movie. I'm going to be fairly honest with you. Uh, it's a movie that I actually kind of sat on and kind of mauled over what I truly liked about the film and. It boils down to the simplicity of it being a very well-worn genre, a very well-worn story, and kind of given a very kind of turning on its head horror feel to it. And then you take people like Catherine Newton, or you take a person like Vince Vaughn, who can be truly annoying a lot of times, can be... You know, his mannerisms and how he acts is he does the same thing in a lot of films that he's in, especially his comedies. So bringing him in and letting him kind of run wild, kind of similar to what Jack Black did in Jumanji, uh, is a lot of fun. I think I think he's one of the standouts in this movie just because of what he has to do and what how he has to act. You know, he runs around like your atypical young female woman. He has the emotions of that you know person. So the fact that he is in a serial killer's body makes it even more more funny because he has the authorities looking after him and stuff like that and it's just a movie that is having a lot of fun with the genre that is portraying and i i just i really did i had so much fun watching this movie and the characters in the, this movie you know her friends who are played by celeste o'connor who plays nyla and misha osharovich who plays josh are perfect in this movie because when they find out that the situation that is happening it's really funny to see him work with Vince Vaughn it's in the trailer so I'm not spoiling anything but it's just uh, the, the characters are dealing with such a strange scenario and the fact that you know the Catherine Noon character which they're friends with is now a serial killer and she's doing some really nasty things in this movie it's just a very fun, very energetic, very just over the top and silly movie that has actually some heart to it because of how Vince Vaughn plays his character, how you know Catherine Newton plays her character, and how this movie has no qualms with what it is and what it's trying to do. And the fact that you know you've seen the story many times before and it's just able to be fun and fresh and entertaining makes it just for a good time at the theater. And that's also helped with Christopher Landon as director. You know, I've actually found that he's become the most uh, consistent director working underneath Jason Blum because of course he did both the Happy Death Day movies which were movies that came out of nowhere as being fun and entertaining and using the Groundhog Day effect so Christopher Landon has this he's in this category of directors that's able to take well-worn well kind of uh, well-used tropes and genres and just kind of turning them on their heads kind of having fun with it and taking all these characters which you know the Catherine Newton and the Vince Vaughn character and kind of taking that genre and just seeing them run with it is so much fun to watch. It really is. So I give a lot of props. And I give a lot of credit to Christopher Landon for just like knocking out of the park for his third movie in a row with Jason Blum. And once again, Jason Blum has proved once again that he is just, he knows where to find material. Not all of it's perfect. Not all of it works. 
But when a movie hits, it hits 100%. But like I said, it's not a perfect movie. We have Alan Rook in this movie, who is well known for being like Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And he's a very disturbed individual, a very mean individual. And I just didn't like his character at all. I really didn't feel like the mother did anything for me, like in the sense of just being a character. She's a really weird and out of place and goofy character. I get that she needs a kind of the Catherine Newton's Millie Kessler character needs kind of a, a point to kind of go back and have, you know, companionship and stuff like that. But it just, I, I never got on board. It's the same thing with their sister. It just, as much as, as fun as she is in the movie as a police officer, she just doesn't really do anything for me in this movie. But I think the violence and the gore is so over the top and silly that it works. I think some of the language gets a little too graphic in a lot of places, but I think with what they're going for, it works for what it is. But overall, I think Freaky is a good time at the theater. I think it's fun. I think it's entertaining. And I think it's a movie that will appeal to a lot of people just as a good escapism movie. The fact, like I said, that Vince Vaughn is actually, he's actually going above and beyond what he is known for doing, how he has to act, how he has to portray this Millie Kessler character. Watching Catherine Noon, who's actually quite entertaining in this movie as the butcher character, watching them have to, you know, kind of go back and forth with how they act, watching what they have to do. It's just, it's a fun movie. So I, I, I cannot not praise it enough. It's just a good time at the theater. So, but that's it. That's going to be my take on Freaky. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite body swapping movie is. Like I said, this is up there with vice versa, which I uh, will talk about eventually one day. But uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, if you like what you see on my channel, hit the subscribe button to join Movie Emporium. Hit that notification bell at the top to find what's coming next. If you like this video, awesome. Hit that like button and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.